hopefully starting to realize the more you watch my videos, not one single influencer, not one single model that you see looking flawless online or in the magazines actually looks like that in real life. Don't believe me? Still believe that perfection is real and attainable for human beings? Watch my catalogue of YouTube videos and you will soon see that even the world's most beautiful women, women that literally get paid because they are beautiful, don't actually look like their pictures in real life. Let this video be a gentle reminder that humans are gonna human and part of being human means jiggling when you walk, having a belly that's big enough to fit your 15 feet of intestines and enough fat on your body to at minimum keep you alive. Heads up guys, in this video we are discussing women who happen to model knickers. Now YouTube doesn't like that and I have a strong inkling that this video will either be demonetized or at worst taken down. So if you like this video and you find it interesting, please share it with anyone else you think needs to see it before it gets taken down. Let's start off with my personal favourite Victoria's Secret model, Candace Swainpole. These are some of the images that likely come to your mind when you picture Candace Swainpole. On the catwalk, in lingerie, perfect body, perfect skin, perfect life. Now I will not deny that Candace Swainpole is an absolute babe. I think anyone with eyes can see that she is. However, like I keep trying to reiterate in these videos, she is simply a human being at the end of the day and not one single human being on the face of this earth that has ever lived is a doll in real life. So here are some pictures of Candace outside of the perfect lighting, not working her angles, just living her life as she should be doing. As you guys can see, when she bends over, she has a bit of a belly, which is totally normal, totally natural. Inside your abdomen, you have so many organs. So any of these girls that you see on Instagram whose waists are like that, I can guarantee guarantee you that that has been done by editing because in real life they would be dead if their waists looked like that. Then there's these pictures of Candace. Now in these pictures she had recently given birth and one thing I love about these photos is because it's a very accurate representation of what the female form actually looks like after giving birth. We are so bombarded on social media and on TV and in the magazines with these women that spend 10 months sometimes growing a human being in their belly, push the baby out or have the baby taken out and then suddenly go and their body just immediately reverts back to the body it was before it created a human being. That is not reality. Your body will always change. Whether your belly skin is stretchier, you may have stretch marks, you may have gained weight that you will never lose. Your hips might have grown, your total body composition may have changed and that is okay. That is part and parcel with becoming a mother. And as you guys can see, Candace Swainpole, who is literally a supermodel, she gets paid, she puts food on the table with her looks, like she literally gets paid for being pretty. You best believe that she would have a hectic diet and workout plan and yet even her body did not immediately go and revert back to its original shape after having a baby because that is not what human bodies do. Now looking at these professional photo shoot pictures, you would of course be forgiven for thinking that Candace certainly doesn't have cellulite. Gosh, no. How could a supermodel have cellulite? Aren't they meant to be perfect? As you guys can see, because Candace is a human being, she does in fact have cellulite. Now, moving on, here's an interesting one. Look at this article I found on Google. What I find curious is that they have used this picture of two Victoria's Secret models, Alessandra Ambrosio and Adriana Lima. In this picture, it looks like the backs of their thighs are totally clear, like you cannot see a single speck of cellulite there whatsoever. And with that, this article is alluding to the fact that you too could have cellulite-free legs like Adriana Lima and Alessandra Ambrosio. Only for the fact that these two models are not cellulite-free, they both have cellulite. So let's take a look at what these two absolutely stunning women look like in reality outside of the spotlight and the angles. Let's start with Alessandra Ambrosio. So here are the images of Alessandra Ambrosio that you would likely see in the media, online, in magazines, on the catwalk. And let's be real, just like Candace, she's an absolute babe. However, say it with me guys, she's a human being. So here is Alessandra, 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 outside of the spotlight just going about her normal life. And as you can see, she looks like a normal human being. Like, I'm sure if you saw her walking down the catwalk, you'd be like, oh my God, like a real life doll. But if you saw her like this, just walking next to you in the supermarket, you probably wouldn't really look twice because she probably just looks a lot like you. And as you guys can see, despite the professional modeling images in real life, Alessandra 
does actually have cellulite, just like over 95% of other women on this planet. Alessandra has cellulite on the back of her thighs and she also has cellulite on the front of her thighs. And guys, bear in mind, she is a top supermodel. She has been a supermodel for many, many years. So she has had a stringent workout routine. She has likely stuck to a very intense diet in order to maintain what she looks like over the course of the years because she is literally one of the world's top supermodels and despite all that she still has cellulite so if you too have cellulite do not beat yourself up for it now just like a lot of the other victoria's secret models alessandra is very tall and very lean however she does not have that instagram waist that instagram concave belly that social media would not only make you believe is humanly possible but expected as you can see in real life when she's relaxed when she's breathing out maybe she had a meal her belly doesn't actually look like that and just like pretty much every other human being on the planet when she bends over or when she relaxes or when she sits down she has a few rolls it's totally okay nothing to be ashamed of and furthermore if you zoom into these pictures you will see that Alessandra actually has a little bit of loose skin on her belly which is not surprising considering she is a mother and she has grown other human beings in that belly now let's move on to the other model that was in that original article picture Adriana Lima here is what you would usually see of Adriana Lima so this is modeling Adriana but this is also Adriana. Now, just like Candace and Alessandra in real life, Adriana Lima does not have a flat belly 24 seven. She doesn't have the Instagram bugs life waist. And if you needed more proof that basically every single supermodel that you see actually does have cellulite in real life, despite the edited pictures that you see, here are some pictures of Adriana Cellulite. Okay guys, moving on to the beautiful Rosie Huntington Whiteley. These are the pictures that you would typically see of Rosie in the media and online. Very beautiful, very tall, very blonde, very angelic looking. And she is, she's absolutely gorgeous. But this is also Rosie. And these two images of Rosie are equally beautiful. So here is Rosie during a professional photo shoot. I can't actually show you the rest of these pictures because she didn't have a top one. So these are the only images I can show you from that photo shoot. But as you can see, when she's not posing, she again just looks like any normal human being. She doesn't look like a Barbie doll in real life. She does, in fact, in real life, have a belly that is big enough to fit her intestines and her stomach and her liver. This is good. This is what you want. And just to hammer home the point that you don't have to be ashamed of cellulite because literally everybody has it, even these women that we put on a pedestal as being like perfection personified. Everyone has cellulite, even Rosie Huntington Whiteley. It's okay, she's still a babe. It doesn't detract from her as a person. And then we have absolutely stunning model Erin Heatherton. Here she is modeling for Victoria's Secret. And just like all the other models that I've included in this video, as you can see, she's absolutely beautiful. That is why she has the job that she has. It's because a lot of people would think that she is absolutely stunning. She is absolutely flawless. And she may be absolutely stunning, but she's also just a real person. She's a real woman at the end of the day. And real women, real humans, don't look like they're angled, posed, version of themselves 24 7. It's just not physically possible. Could you imagine living your life in a pose, sucking in your belly, trying to work your best angles constantly? I would die of boredom. So here is Erin on the beach, relaxing, enjoying her life as she should be. And as you can see, she doesn't have a flat belly 24 seven, just like everybody else when she sits down, she has a few rolls. Like when you, when you sit down, right? And you crouch over, where do you think your internal organs are going to go? Like they're either going to get crushed or they're going to go out the way. Like you could angle your body and suck in with all of your might and make your belly look a certain way. But the moment you relax and let go and bend over, your organs have to go somewhere. Do you know what else is okay? It's okay to wear a swimsuit and have a bit of overhang. It literally doesn't matter how thin you are or how curvy you are. If you are wearing something tight that is digging into your body, you're going to have a bit of overhang. Like we do have skin. We do have fat deposits under our skin. It's going to happen. It's okay. It doesn't mean that you're not a babe. And if you haven't gotten the point yet already, just like everyone else, Erin, who is literally a Victoria's Secret supermodel and is an ultimate babe, she also has cellulite. It's okay. Then we have Vida 
Sidor Kina. I am so bad at pronouncing names. Vida is also a Victoria's Secret supermodel. She is absolutely stunning, as you guys can see with your eyeballs. However, she does not have a waist the size of an ant like Instagram would make you believe. And just like Erin Heatherton, when she wears a tight swimsuit, or I mean tight anything to be honest, she has a bit of skin and fat overhang. Not something to be embarrassed about, not something to be made to feel ashamed of, simply part of being a human. Now there are a lot of Victoria's Secret models actually, which I didn't even realize how many there were until I started making these videos. And I actually gathered so many more pictures, but this video is already 40 minutes long because I keep blabbering my words and having to repeat myself. So I'm gonna have to edit this down. But if you guys wanna see part two of this and see more pictures of different Victoria's Secret supermodels in real life, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments and I'll make it for you. My hope with this video is that by showing you that the world's most beautiful women, women who literally make a living because they are so beautiful and their bodies are so gorgeous, also have cellulite, loose skin, overhang, belly rolls. And yet, despite all that, they are still considered the world's most beautiful women. They are still in the job. They are still being paid millions of dollars by brands because they look the way they do. I hope it makes you realize that if you have cellulite or loose skin or belly rolls or overhang, you too are absolutely bloody stunning. Do not feel shitty about your gorgeous self when you look in the mirror and then compare what you see in the mirror to what you see of these supermodels online or in the magazines because now you know that in real life they actually look a lot like you. You are basically a supermodel too.